And all the Russian train stations is unique. The atmosphere of train stations. And uh, the trains is changing. And we have a lot of famous travelers who travel through Russia. A lot of events happen in train stations or in trains. So we have the history of connected with the, with the Russian history. Trains is connected. And of course, it's the literature and cinema. From, let's say, from Anna Karenina to Dr. Zhivaga, from Nikolai II to Alexander Solzhenitsyn. Hemos construido un objeto que es al mismo tiempo una representación abstracta de esa, de esa inmensidad del territorio argentino que eh, a través de un juego de reflejos, de, de espejos y con un cielo que se va moviendo busca crear esa sensación que muchas veces se tiene en Argentina de ese cielo infinito, de ese territorio que nunca termina y que encuentra en su línea de horizontes ese punto de reunión que nunca se termina de llegar. They're asking us to think about what is the space of the border, a border region. And this is perhaps a transnational commons, a space of exchange, of togetherness. Um, they illustrate that by looking at eight watersheds. And it is defined by the sort of ecological flows um, rather than the sort of statement of sovereignty and fortified at that. We're showing 28 projects that exemplify how complicated and how complex it is to unbuild a wall. 28 years ago, the wall came down. It was standing for 28 years. And so we are showing the heterogeneity of architectural answers and the identity of these answers. What do they talk about? How do they show a democratic society has basically found a solution to start into a democratic discourse and to create diversity in a debate of architectural links? Today, it seems we have leapfrogged into the future without really having a past. And we have this, uh, this strange mixture of futuristic architecture without a, a foundation of the past. That's what we wanted to reestablish. This, this firm holding foothold for the future, as a, uh, which, which is more like a historical foundation that we never bothered to make.
c'est pour nous important de montrer des lieux et non pas des bâtiments. C'est pour ça que l'exposition se sous-titre « Construire des bâtiments ou des lieux ». Donc c'est une question qui est posée et on souhaite dans cette exposition euh, faire des portraits des lieux qui nous ont touchés en tant qu'architecte. Donc c'est des lieux, souvent ça part de lieux abandonnés, des lieux délaissés, des anciennes usines, des anciens immeubles de bureaux, des... qui ont été euh, réactivés et où la société civile a un, un énorme... Un, un, un énorme impact et notamment c'est des projets qui sont bottom-up, qui viennent du bas et où il y a des programmes qui sont mixés et pour nous c'est des projets porteurs d'espoir pour le futur vu les crises écologiques, sociales, économiques qu'on qu traverse. Um, you sort of ascend and it's quite a raw structure and the scaffolding sort of suggests that something's, something's under, under renovation, maybe about to change and then you reach the top and you see there's a piazza um, and the intention of the piazza is really to be as a piazza would be in Venice. The floor is designed to kind of mirror many different patterns from Venetian floors and it's a place of respite for, from the Biennale um, and it's really intended for people to be up there to relax. Uh, every day at four we serve tea. Um, obviously that's kind of a heavy metaphorical aspect to the project, um, but it, it has lots of layers and we hope that people will take what they want from it.